check out FIFA Coin Traders for the only site which is automated coins. Uh, they are fast, cheap, and reliable, so go ahead and check them out. Welcome, one and all, to the final BPL Team of the Season play review. I was going to do check as well, but I ran out of time with kind of doing these. And uh, Fellaini is already up on a Friday, so I thought I'm going to have the Bundesliga going as well at the same time. So hopefully there's a Bundesliga player out today. I think this should be the day the first one comes out. Or maybe it is the second. It depends on what prices they are on the day, because this is Thursday so far. So... Yeah, again into Fellaini. So, looking at his player stats, uh, 91 wall control, 96 headed, 98 long shot, 94 pa uh, passing, short pass that is, 98 shot power, 95 volleys, 94 aggression, 98 strength, 91 reactions. His lowest stats, 39 free kick and balance, and 58 penalties. So, balance is the only one there that really makes any difference. So, we're going to go straight into it. As you see, his uh, player stats are absolutely beast. So... What would I choose differently with Fellaini? I'd have put him in a Kadum if I was you. He doesn't play very well in a camp for my likings. I think he's a very good player, but I think his lack of talent... Um, well, his... I mean, not lack of talent. His talent lacks when he's in the cam role. I think Kadum is the perfect position for him. He's got the defensive stats and everything for it. I don't get why they've put him in cam as his informers are in Kudums, Um But he would make a great Kudum if you're going to put him there. He doesn't have the ba best pace, but he has at least 79, which is pretty decent. I think his first card had 72 pace, so you can see the difference that's jumped. And yeah, so let's get into the kind of whole review now then. So as you see, I've put him down for about 245k. Uh, that's on the Xbox rather than the PS3 as all these all these reviews are kind of Xbox related. Um, I don't know. PS3 could be different. It could, uh, It's probably the same, but there might be a different kind of feel to it. But yeah, I've given him an 8.6. So he's not low, but he's not uh, high. I wouldn't say I'd rate him over 9 at least without being in the Kudum. In the Kudum, probably a bit higher as his kind of his usefulness and kind of height, tackling, all would come into play. And I think he'd be a lot better in Kudum. Um, I play him normally in Kudum. As you see there, the oh, the Netherlands uh, centre defensive mid has kind of came in for Fellaini's kind of position whilst I had him in this review. But normally, Fellaini is the Kudum, if anything. But you look at this. That is a sensational ball over there. Perfect width. Unfortunately, Morales did not uh, carry on the run. But uh, it's, his uh, passing is absolutely amazing. As you see there, that should have been a goal, to be honest. Fellaini's kind of finishing lacks his kind of camness. I think cams are definitely meant to uh, be able to shoot and score properly. Um, but he is the kind of header master. He will head and he will get the goal um, pretty much quite a lot of the time. So I would definitely choose to... Uh, Pick him up in my team, as you see here. Heads it there once and uh, doesn't get the finish. Again, I think I know that's Kabul that time, but he's there and the rebound goes to the shot. Unfortunately, gets the uh, the kind of uh, rebound off the keeper again. And then Santa Cazola delivers a beautiful ball in just now. And Fellaini's there. Great head, and it's the 90th minute goal. The keeper's jumping on his back. It was a beautiful goal. So, the good points about Fellaini. Insane passing, it is unreal. Um, his head defending, his interceptions, they're just beast. Heading, well, heading is his definitely best aspect, I would say. Um, that is kind of Fellaini's kind of uh, stat. Because he is, I thought he'd be taller than six foot four, but I guess it's just because everyone else up, up front is kind of small already. But six foot four, great height to be uh, a good header, obviously. And to be honest, he can cross a ball in. Well, if you look here, look, you, he just does the defenders. Not, I should know, he passes this one in, sorry. Um, and then, unfortunately, I get the rebound, uh, I get the rebound, the keeper blocks it, and then I get the rebound fully. So, there are the good points to Fellaini. So, what don't I like about him? Well, his cam is definitely needs to be Kudum. That is the biggest one for me. His pace lacks in cam. I think in Kudum, it wouldn't be much of a problem. His shooting in cam, not the best. I think when you put him in Kudum, it wouldn't really matter that much because you'd just be passing it off. Um, so that wouldn't be too bad, but they're kind of like my my issues with it just because that is his kind of position already um, I would prefer definitely a Kudum version and maybe in the future I could buy the Kudum version and then doing maybe a little review um, Kind of like alternating and see what kind of uh, form, uh, See what kind of form he is in when I do that so apart from that really I finished my review It is actually the first time that I finished early on a review um, purely because I had a, an insane amount of clips as I'm starting to do five matches now 
with the players and Fellaini got quite a few clips to be honest. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have a like is always appreciated. If you want to favourite the video as well that would mean the world. It gets the channel out amazingly and uh, we have got over 800 subs so only uh, 100, uh, 200 and counting to get to 1000 so hopefully we can get to that soon. I'll see you all next time. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all again for the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.